<clears throat> so I want to let you guys know something real quick before we get into today's video. Sunday the 30th, the one that's coming up here in like not this weekend, but the one after that, between the hours of 12 and 4, we're hosting a meetup at the Walmart parking lot in Rogers, Arkansas. This event, it's, it's for the Children's Miracle Network, so we want to have as many people show up as we possibly can to support this event. We're, we're asking for y'all to come up. I'll leave it in the description below. That'll be the address. We're going to be doing tons of giveaways, give away like a ton of stuff. It's going to be myself, Flair, Perrick, John, Scott Martin, and Lake Fort Guy. We're all going to be together hanging out between the hours of 12 and 4. That Sunday in the parking lot, you cannot miss it. We're, we're asking for you guys to please come out and, and support the event and support. It's just, it's just a great cause. That's, so I'll leave, I'll leave it in the description below. If you're able to show up, please attend. We'll be giving away a ton of stuff. Remember, the 30th, Rogers, Arkansas. It'll be down below. Now enjoy today's video. Dude, I haven't seen you guys in forever, it seems like. One second. Oh, so back at this. So it, it feels like it's been forever since I've seen you guys. I've been trying to film, like actually try to film, but the problem has been I went hunting up in Missouri for like two days and it was bad. I heard like two or three turkeys gobble in, in two entire days. I don't know if this, it's late in the season or something. I was trying to, I went, tried to go turkey hunting up there in Missouri. They do a little differently. They don't, there's no baiting you have to call. And it's, I mean, it's a great way to hunt. I, it's, it's fair and I like it. But we didn't get to kill anything, which kind of sucks. But that's no problem. You know what we're doing this weekend? We're going log hunting again. But today we're fishing ponds. I've never fished this pond I drove. An hour, an hour and a half north of where I live through this pond I've never fished and we're gonna give it a shot. I, it looks really good. I made a mistake and did not bring braid. Uh, I was like, nah, that shouldn't need any braid. Like 80% of this place is just pads. Oh. We brought the AP back back for the pond fishing. I've been drinking coffee all morning. I can't get this thing in. Uh, it's made for small people, I guess. I've been drinking coffee all morning. It's really warm out here in Texas. I don't even know why I got this in my mouth. I'm gonna start off the day with, uh, you know what? Oh God, I'm hitting everything. I'm gonna start off with a, I'm gonna start off with a little chatterbait. We're gonna start with a moving action. Just go up and down this little, hopefully it doesn't get caught up on all the grass. So I probably need to put a GoPro on, don't I? All right, let's see here. Water clarity is pretty good right here. It is really, really, really humid today. Like, pretty nasty. I can see some beds right there. That's a good sign. I'm sure it's way past. Oh, God! We just got crushed right there. I just watched that bass come out and crush it. Oh, my. I wonder if he's going to hit it again. I wonder how many times I can say, oh, my, in the same sentence as well. That was awesome. First cast, we just got demolished right here. Oh, he got it. Oh, he got it. Got it again. What the heck? Got him. <laughs> Freaking. <laughs> that is so cool. Look at that. I'll let him take it that time. First fish took three casts. That's awesome. Oh. Well, all right. So I, I didn't really think this one through. Like, this is probably the only part of the lake I can actually fish. I was looking at Google Maps. I was like, oh no, those reeds aren't gonna be grown up oh my are they there dude there's reeds all along the bank there's like a spot over there I can probably fish next to the road but we're not gonna get to move around a ton this is mainly probably just gonna be throwing moving baits along the edge of this grass which is gonna work damn I can't believe I forgot a freaking frog rod we could have got some frog in action today come on there we go Oh, there's one. Oh, it's not a bad one. Oh, jeez, falling over this thing on this dog. There we go. Fish number two from this uh, random pond. That's a good looking healthy fish, actually. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna grab a tail for this thing. I just don't feel comfortable. Oh, God, did I bring any? Oh, let's go check, I don't even know. I think I might have put some in here. I just kind of, oh yeah, I did for sure. There we go. Um, it's watermelon red. Let's see if I put any stuff of white. There we go. I've never used these uh, trailers, by the way, guys. So I don't know how well they work or they kick. We're about to find out. 
I just saw them on the shelf, they were on sale, so I'm cheap. Well, that's not how you put one on. Yeah, it doesn't look that bad. So we can catch another, well, I'm gonna catch one more on this little spinner bait, or spinner bait, chatter bait. And I'm gonna see if I can catch one on like a, I feel like setting the hook. So I'm gonna throw like a Texas rig or something. Oh God. There's one, I just watched him completely smoke that. Ooh. There we go. Fish number three on the chatter bait. Not a big one. Keep throwing this thing just for a second. We're gonna grab that Texas rig and see if we can catch one on that. It might be a little bit difficult because of all the grass. Might have to throw moving baits around the edges, but I will catch one on a Texas rig by the end of the day, hopefully. Let's throw this around a little bit. I don't know if it's, oops, just dropped that one on the ground. I don't know if this is gonna work very much because it's there's so much grass in this little pond, but I know those things are in full, full effect. Oh, there's a bass. There's a bass. A little one. There he is. Got him. That was crazy. This one was just cruising. So wrong place, wrong time kind of deal right there. That was cool. That little one I just saw. I'm going to move more that way and throw this along the rocks. I mean, there's going to be fish probably moving all day today. This is, uh, if you guys are here in Texas, we're 100% probably, most of the lake should be almost fully in post bond. So it should be munching. should be kind of hungry. Should that, well, that should be the case. Make a little hop here again. So as I'm uh, on my mommy journey down here to find some more bass, the only thing I can think of is, ooh, there's one right there, is uh, Water Moccasin City. I mean, look how froggy this looks right here. I might just risk it and throw a frog. I don't even know if I have a frog, but I might risk it later and throw a frog without having a, any braid on because it just looks way too good. I don't know if there's any fish on this side. This is like flooded water, but all I can think of is like frogs and water moccasins. That's only two things I can think of right now. Ooh, look at this little cut right here. Oh, we're going to catch a fish out of this. Look at this. I'm able to fish it too. We're going to start off. Oh, well, that doesn't, that doesn't look good. We'll start off with the, uh, the old swim jig. Got to get that fixed. Oh, look how good this looks. Can't believe that little spot right there didn't produce, didn't produce a single fish. Oh, there's one. Ooh, it's a good fish, guys. Stay pinned. There you go. Come on. Get out of the grass. Get out of the grass. Come on. Got a grass bass right here. There we go. That's a good bass. There we go. That's beautiful bass. Look at that. Go fish number, I don't know, you guys tell me how many fish is this? Three, four, or five, I honestly don't know. It's a good one, about two and a half. Let's go back in the water all nice and all nice like. Well, switched up the colors, moved down just a tad. Didn't see this nice opening here. Oh God, he must have rubbed me on something down there because look, that is rough right there. I need to retie. Get over that grass, get over that grass. Ah, there we go. Another moving bait fish. Wow, he inhaled that thing, look at that. Fish number six, I think. Can't get him to eat anything that's on the bottom right now. I moved on my, I moved my way back down the, uh, the road here. Moving back towards the car, gonna throw a moving bait for a little while along the edge of this grass, see if we can get, I'm looking for something a little bit bigger, just as we always are. 
Always need something bigger. That's what she said. Look at this little tiny bass right here. Look at him. Let's see if he'll eat this. Oh, he couldn't turn that thing down, could he? A little wacky rig Sanko. There you go, little dude. Well, you know what? On that note, I'll see you guys in the car. Well, that was actually only a couple hours worth of fishing. I got a couple errands I got to run on the way home. I got to get ready for tomorrow because I leave to go hunting again for hogs. I'm going to go hog hunting the next few days. I need to make a stop at the Bass Pro Shops. I'm going to stop at the MTB house. Uh, check up on it since I'm kind of up in this area anyway. So I need to make sure that uh, everything is a-okay -okay over there since the guys actually just got, they just landed back from China today. So they should all be back down here in the next couple days. <clears throat> hey, well I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a pond video. I know a lot of you guys like to see pond videos. I like to go find ponds like that one. I think the next thing I need to buy is a kayak or a little aluminum John boat. But yeah, I hope you guys kind of enjoyed it. I wish I would have bought the frog rod. If that would have been smart. I went and bought a whole bunch of ammo. This stuff is for tomorrow. Tomorrow's hog hunt. While you guys are watching this video that night, I will be hopefully sending a couple of these 6.8. And I got some 300 blackout. You know what? Let's actually take a look. I got 300 blackout. I'll be shooting a 300 blackout and this 6.8 right here. Ooh, that thing's a studly little, studly little deal. And here's a 300 blackout. This is one of the rounds. Okay, good. Oh, someone's already opened this one. There we go. These are the two rounds I'll be shooting tomorrow. Ooh, look at that. That 300 blackout's a nasty sucker. Look at that thing. This is 300 blackout. Ooh. But anyway, that's what we'll be doing tomorrow and throughout the weekend. So I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this little fishing segment. And then it'll be off with the, with the guys going over to Louisiana to do some redfish. It's going to be a fun time. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Go, please, go check the description down below. Come out and hang out with us next Sunday. Other than that, I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow. If not, it's because I did not get any sleep and I wasn't able to edit the videos. So I will see you guys.